I'm going back to Portugal. But don't worry, I will come back soon. And I love you. I promise I come back soon, okay? And after I build a house, you can come with me. Enjoy Portugal, my brother. Oshel! Oshel! Adam, what do you want to tell Uncle Oshel before he goes to Portugal? Portugal. Tell him we are going to buy a house next to you, man. Good luck! Good luck! Good luck! Portugal in Rai Kau. I made it to Vienna, Austria, and I'm on my way to Portugal now. Okay, starving. Okay, let's go. Sorry for that. Welcome to the second season of My Portugal Dream. I just want to say before we are starting, big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Thank you, you, us. Thank you very much. So, what you need to do is go to no, www.com. Just go, just go. And now for something completely different. I can't wait forever for the fountain house. So I booked a flight and I came to Portugal to keep on searching for my stone house, my stone house, my stone house. And the very same day I booked my flight, I received a message from the owner saying some progress has been made. Instead of taking a lawyer, I decided to check the fountain house papers by myself. The first step that I wanted to do is just go to the city hall and check that they are the real owners of the house and the only one. There is no mortgage or any debt that will come to me once I will buy the house. And the third one, that the house is really an urban property. Let's see what's going on. Where we got? Shut up. Great. Finally, some good news in this channel. Come on. I went to check the papers of the house and I got this. Uh, this basically saying that the house belongs to the owners and they are the only owners of the house. The house is clean from any mortgage, debts, whatever, tax to pay. So the only two things um, that I need to check now, it's fire restriction which is very important because there is a lot of fire in, uh, going on in Portugal and in some places you are not even allowed to build or do anything because of those uh, fire restrictions. Over two years later, Portugal's countryside is scarred. The fires that ripped through this area in 2017 are still visible in the hills here. So I must check it out and uh, I need to check out the building permission. So those two things, I must go uh, to the city hall in Guarda. I cannot check it from Porto. In three days, I'm gonna have the car. Then I'm going straight there to Guarda to check those things. Then I'm going to the house. Road trip! Today it's a holiday in Portugal. It's like a memorial day. So they're going to the cemetery to visit the loved ones that passed away. So it's not that everything is closed, but it's like a chill day today. Chill, chill day. Yeah. I just took the car. I'm free again. I'm drive and do what I want. Be free. It's 9.30 now. I'm on my way to Guarda. I have one hour and 15 minutes left to drive. But I'm very happy that um, I'm here again. I'm gonna go to the city hall tomorrow in Guarda, check the papers of the house. The only thing that uh, left is um, the size. And I'm still waiting to hear from the owners of the house. I'm tired. I've been driving three hours from Braga to Guarda. From Braga to Guarda. Yeah. Based on the energy here, 
So I'm trying to be awake a little bit. And if I will see that it's too much, I will just stop on the way and I will sleep in the car. It's dark, it's raining, and I'm tired. It's a bad, bad combination. So I must be very focused. So I cannot speak with you. Don't speak with me, okay? Don't speak with me. I just got out of the city of Guada and the most amazing thing happened. Out of nowhere came the former mayor of the area. He took it personally and just took my paper. What are the chances that out of nowhere, the former mayor of the area, I want to buy the house, came and said, hey, I was the mayor again, show me that. And in just in one moment he said, in one hour you have a meeting with the engineer of the city hall. So cheers for that. The meeting in the city hall was great. As you can see, I received all the papers of the house. I'm very glad to know that the house is not within the fire restriction zone. Also, the former mayor of Vela de Estrella gave me other papers. He's saying that later on, I will need those papers. So I already have them. This is great. I understand very good from the engineer what I can't and cannot do in the house. And we sat down and we go through all the plans. He actually said that I'm allowed to build second floor if I want to. He approved that I will dig a septic tank for the house. He approved the Velox windows on the roof. He even explained me what to do in the second floor in order to make it livable. And it was just like a dream that everything happened at the same day really fast and everything I needed, I received. So I must say I'm very happy with the results of this meeting. I'm looking forward to hear from the owners about the size of the house and once this will be done, I can just go sign the contract and the house will be mine. I just hope it will happen very soon. So I'm on my way to the fountain house to see the house again, feel it, see it, touch it and dream about it. One minute, I'm 